Hi guys! So, today I want to talk a little bit about all the checks and tests you must do before your first print with the TiVo Tornado. One of the things I always check is the hot end assembly, which means checking if the nozzle and heat break are correctly installed and the PTFE tube, when it exists, it's correctly inserted. But because this machine was tested in the TiVo factory and they even printed with it, I assume it's ok. The manual, however, mentions to check the PTFE tube because it can be pulled out during transportation. I checked mine and it seems ok. The belt tension needs to be checked. In my case, the Y-axis belt was ok. If not, it's easy to fix. Just release four screws of the idler mount, pull it and tighten the screws again. The X-axis I had to adjust as it was a bit loose. You only need to release the two screws of the X-axis idler mount to tension the belt. Pull it and tighten the screws again. Everybody that follows me knows that I always print on glass. It has so many advantages that now I can't print without one. The Tornado heat bed screws are not flush with the bed surface, which can be a problem. If you don't want to drill the bed to lower the screws, you only have two choices. Use a smaller glass or do like I did get a glass with holes for the screws. This way you can easily secure it and use all the available print area. The next thing we can check are the end stops. In my case I found that my x-axis end stop was not in the ideal position, but it was an easy fix by bending slightly the metal trigger. The y-axis end stop was also not in the ideal position. The belt was hitting and going over the idler. Check the end stop position and adjust it if needed. The Z end stop needs more attention because it comes disassembled. It does not allow a big adjustment, so, and especially when using a glass on top like me, you will have to adjust it by using the bed screws. The wheels were already checked and adjusted during the assembly. If you didn't check them then, you need to check them now. The power supply input voltage check is normally another thing you have to confirm. There are several ways you can check in this printer. One of them is the sticker on the bed. When they test it in the factory, they have this control. And then the power supply. The back fuse is your first indication. If you want to go deeper, the power supply inside the controller has the selector switch. Also check the cables at the back side of the printer because with the back and forth movement of the bed, they can get stuck or worse, they can get pulled out. I had some strips from my tarantula, so I secured the cables inside the profile and this way the bed cable passes over without touching it. You can also get these strips easily online, like eBay for example. Try to get a little bit of uh, grease to your lead screw. Then move up and down to spread the grease. When turning on the printer, one thing you will notice is that the printer is completely silent when in idle. The hot end fan will only turn if the nozzle is hotter than 50 degrees. And the controller fans will only turn when needed. So this is something we can test. 
which is the hot end fan. So heat up the nozzle up to 60 degrees C and confirm that the fan starts when reaching 50 degrees. What you can do now is home the printer. You can test each axis first. Select Home X and trigger manually. Do the same for the Y axis and the Z axis. And then home all the axes. Heat up the bed up to 55 or 60 degrees C and level the bed. Start with the first corner and use a paper with 1 mm thickness. Move on to the second corner and repeat the process. Do this for all four corners. At the end, go back to the first corner and restart the process until all four corners are stable. And this is it! Simple as that! Now load some filament and start your first print. So have fun! Bye guys!